Hi, my name is Eric Njuguna. I'm a UNICEF Youth Delegate here at UNEA 5. UNEA is the United Nations Environmental Assembly which is being held here in my home city in Nairobi. World leaders, environmental ministers, delegates and United Nations staff are here meeting to find solutions on how to fix the climate crisis, to talk about the sustainable development goals and my biggest hope here for UNEA is that delegates come out to the legally binding and ambitious plastic treaty. So now I'm joining the opening plenary of the United Nations Environmental Assembly. Some meetings are online and some meetings are in person. This one is hybrid because of um, COVID-19 restrictions and capacity. Right now I'm just about to watch one of the youth delegates speak at the opening plenary. He's about to give the youth, uh, youth perspective on UNIA and what we hope as a youth the outcomes will be. In the morning, there was the opening plenary. Speeches were made by the UNEP Executive Director to the Kenyan Environmental Minister and other ministers. And of course, with speeches comes the need for action and that is our mantra as youth climate justice advocates. And we hope that out of the plenary and the UNEA process, there will be action. Uh, later in the day, there was the release of the IPCC report. And uh, one key takeaway from the IPCC report was the need for the emission cuts and uh, increased calls for adaptation. I've spent most of my day watching the latest IPCC science report. One of my key takeaways is the need to make sure that there is major emission cuts in addition to saying that there is adaptation and in addition to saying that we are protecting and restoring nature. Because at the end of the day, if warming keeps rising, then there's going to get to a point where people can no longer adapt to certain things. Today is day two of UNEA. In the morning, we had a meeting with the United Nations Deputy Secretary General, Lamina Mohamed together with other youth from across the globe. It was a great opportunity to talk about how the youth can scale up action or to tackle the climate crisis and also how the United Nations can support the youth to achieve their full potential. Why do you think it's important to have youth engagement here at UNIA? Youth are very, very important because youth are the ones that bear the consequences, are the ones that should react to the effects that we're going to experience after all this you know, destruction that is happening to the planet. So they should be able to track and guide themselves, have an imagination of where they want to be. And also, hence, it means that they are the ones that can get, you know, that sense of ownership. But to get that, you need to be the one drafting some of these resolutions, not just to participate or to be engaged, but for them to be at the core because they are the main resource that we have. How can African youth take part in demanding for climate justice in a way that is inclusive for them? Yeah, I know that Fridays for Future has not necessarily worked on the African continent for a multitude of reasons. Striking is difficult. Dropping out of school for a week, uh, a day a week is, is uh, detrimental to your own growth. Community organizing is our space. Getting together our people, our land, thinking about what are the issues we care about. This is what we need to be doing. Really grounded and rooted in our community so that when we go up and we take space, we are not just speaking for ourselves and our individual voices, but we're speaking for our communities. The other thing that is really important and I think an avenue for young people to get involved is through stepping into positions of power. This one's a difficult one, but I've been talking to friends here who are getting ready to run for political office, who are getting ready to say, I want to step into the UN. We need to be in these places of decision making. Why do you think it's important to have you near, especially before COP27? Yeah, I think that um, young people can get really frustrated around everyone flying all the time to talk about climate. It's such a contradiction. UNEA gives us a moment, one, for policymakers and everyone to get together and start to find some level of agreement. And two, the most important part, in my opinion, is that African young people get to meet. We get to consolidate our ideas, our excitement towards our African COP. This is our year and this is our year to push and make sure that our voices are heard. Today is the last day of UNEA and the United Nations Environmental Assembly has just passed the draft resolution that will forge the path forward for the creation of a legally binding plastics treaty that will use a whole life cycle approach which I think for me is a hopeful step UNEA has also been an opportunity to connect with African climate activists, especially ahead of COP27. I mean, normally we just uh, meet online, but this has created an opportunity for us to network and uh, see how we can build more momentum, especially ahead of COP27, which will be in Africa, and see how we can make it an African COP.